Hello all. I'm going to do the what's in my purse challenge. This is like one of my summer purses. I don't like changing purses very often. Don't want to, I'm not one of those have a shoe to match my purse and purse, purse to match my shoes kind of gal. Okay, first thing I've got is in one of my pockets. I've got eye drops and a bunch of tea bags because on that retreat I went on I wasn't sure if they had what I liked. It's like vanilla chai, a couple brands. <laughs> so I took a handful, I gotta put them back. And then I can't find the top to this. Well, maybe it's in there. Nope, and a barrette. Oh, here it is. I got this in one of my boxes looks like lipstick but it's a pin <laughs> then I have not one not two but three pairs of sunglasses I have these I have these and I have these. My favorite is these. I think these are cute and they fit the best. I have this is what I wore for my granddaughter's graduation. And you can wear it as a scarf. My wallet that's so thick it doesn't shut. And this, I, you know how you get all these cards and you think you're going to use them? Like I got Genghis Grill and what all I have? Old credit cards, a Walmart gift card, all these things that I think I'm going to use them. I never do. I need to go through this someday and just get rid of all this stuff because it's been in there for years. I have one of these things you add to water. I don't like the taste of plain water very well, so you know, I just had to carry something to put in it. I have a couple throwaway masks. We had a Chinese student that lived with us and when she went back home she sent us a box of masks. Headphones, not headphones, earbuds, whatever they are. Got this in one of my boxes, hand sanitizer, a hairbrush, <laughs> my checkbook. Yes, I still write checks occasionally. Um, glasses cleaning for my sunglasses, a bag for my blue sunglasses I like, healing gold balm ultimate healing lotion, um, I get stomach issues, this is some anti-nausea medicine, I like these, they're like a mint but they're sours. Cause I'm not a gum kind of gal. I'm more of a breath mint kind of gal. How about you? Are you more a gum person or a mint person? These are Kleenexes. And that's it in the... Oh, here's a lip gloss. Got one of my boxes. And then I've got... Uh, eh, my keys. I'm on the Grandparents Association, so I have my little badge saying I'm a grandparent volunteer, a lipstick that's kind of a reddish color. I like dark colors. And Tylenol. And what else is in here? My voter registration card. Some stamps. And 
and various and sundry. Oh, here's another voter registration card. One of those is probably obviously expired. Let's see. This is the current one. I should need to throw the yellow one away. It's expired. And this is various reward cards and my gym membership card and my Ulta card and all those kinds of cards. And that's it. My purse is empty. So I challenge you, what's in your purse? Stick them up. This is a stick up. I want to know what's in your purse. So I challenge you all to do a video of what's in your purse and then come back and post the link on this video so people can come come see what you see what what you've got in your purse. I just thought this would be a quite fun little quick video something different till I get my next box of goodies that I'm whatever I get. I've got um, my uh, Diva by Sonia box is on its way, so it should get here, I don't know, later this week, early next week. And I did a, I went ahead and signed up for another Natalie Attired limited edition collection. It's coming, it's supposed to come on the 3rd. The last one I got, I, I got four things and I really liked three, but it was cheaper to keep the fourth. Because the way limited, the limited collection works, it doesn't work like the regular one does. The regular one works more like Stitch Fix or whatever. But the limited edition one, it's $72 plus $10 shipping. And if you keep everything, you get it for just that $82. And it's at least $150 worth of stuff. So it's like about a 50% discount. But if you want to send anything back, then you go, you pay full price for th things. So it ends up usually ends up cheaper to go ahead and keep everything because you get that 50% discount than if you start sending stuff back. I mean, you can obviously send it all back, but... I, so I tried it once, and I thought I'm going to try it one more time and see, but I liked... I gave away to my fellow grandma that really bright colored blouse that was too small. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. I don't know how to link them up there. i got to figure that out. You know, there's a way to link it up in your up in your video <laughs> but I'm not sure how to do that uh, so anyway I hope you all have a good week and I'm gonna go get ready to go swimming with the kids in a little bit and I haven't done that in a couple weeks I need to get back out there and get some exercise so and we have a have a new puppy at our house well he's four years old he's a he's a rescue dog my grandson's been begging for a dog for seven years they finally gave in and let him get a dog he's almost 15 so he's responsible enough where he can be sure and take care of the dog well so his name's Max and he's we know he's part pug and we think the other part might be Rottweiler we're not sure but he's medium size he's way overweight he should weigh about 20 pounds and he weighs about 40 pounds so we we'll have to work on that get him some exercise and you know not let him eat people food that's usually where dogs gain all their weight eating people food so I hope you all have a great week, and I challenge you with what's in your purse. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.